Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. We're going to do the last beer in this um, Northern Monk subscription box. And it is Northern Monk's double IPA. It's a whole lot of faith. Um, it's a double IPA. This comes in at... 8.4% ABV. That's a big boy. Um, it says, Our faith divinely doubled a huge hazy pale ale to reaffirm our faith in beer. It says, In gold on yellow. Ridiculous. Um, craft beer brewed with northern pride and absolutely rammed with juicy tropical flavours. Well, baby, I ain't fooling. Baby, I need cooling. Baby, I ain't fooling. Gonna send me back to schooling. Way down inside. Gonna give you my faith. Let's see what's going on. Um, on the crib sheet that they usually send in the box, that they didn't, that they emailed, they say this is their biggest and boldest version of faith. Biggest and boldest version of faith for me would be a triple... IPA version of Faith at what 10%, 10.5%, not the double, but I'm not going to quibble over it. Have a little look at the label. There's some lovely little things going on there, hot motifs going on there. Do 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 I love a bit of Led Zeppelin. Get it. Um let's pop a top on this and see what we've got. Now ordinary faith is very good. It's a good, solid um, pale ale. It's great. Double IPA version of it would be, for me, tip top. Maybe a pause a hazy, a hazy yellow. Um, that looks double IPA ish. I don't know why. I'm going to turn it round because I've got the old logo on the back. I've not got a new glass with a new logo on the front. You go on the front's got a star on it. They've not won the Champions League. They don't deserve to have a star on it. Anyway. Being a glass, what have we got? Uh, one finger. Again, Daz White Head. The beer's got that lovely, lovely, deep, hazy, opaque. Orange. It looks like a fruit juice if you were to kind of take the head away. It looks fruit juice-ish. I the nose so we can smell. Let's get my nose stuck right in. Oh yeah, that is proper juicy. Fruit, citrusy, tropical. Orange, tangerines, citrus, grapefruit, pineapple, tropical fruit. That smells really cool. <laughs> Let's go for the wedding combination. Cheers. That is really good. So body, body's light, medium. Again, it's the medium. It's kind of going to. It's light. Going towards medium, but it's the right side of medium. Box and light, I think. Yeah, it's in, it's in between. It's good. Combination's nice and soft, nice and light, beautiful. Um, let's give a big old taste. It's stuck in. Cheers. Look, oh, that's beautiful. Look at it. Quality drop. Really juicy. <laughs> I just, that's excellent. See, this is this is this is the thing, right? So, throughout this whole box, I started off with with that fantastic four percent, a just terrible beer. I say, Mrs. Beard, love that. 
she that was red. She said she thought it was lemony sherbet. Uh, no idea what she's talking about. And we and we end with this. And right, every every beer in between that was crap to this has got gradually better and better. It doesn't matter about excuse me about the ABV. I just think it just gets it just shows you what they're doing. You got four, that four percent phantasm. Sorry, fantastic. Well, what's it called? It is here. Yeah, fantastic lemon pale. There it is. Um, you've got that, and then put that at the other end of the scale. You've got this, and it's so much better. This could sit in the supermarket on the shelf as a double double faith faith squared faith faith faiths whatever and it, would, it would sell it's really cool um but then you've got that so you've got two in, in one box you've got the two opposing ends of the spectrum you've got some that's that's for me is not great but at the other end you've got some that's that that this is lovely lovely stuff anyway i was in the middle of telling you about the big old taste so citrusy grapefruit pineapple mango tropical tropical fruit got a little zest in there it's got a little bit of sweetness in there from what before like an overripe mango Overripe, maybe guava and papaya and stuff like that. Back end, it's got a really light, dry finish. I think this is this is this is this is excellent. It's what other mugs we put into the sit into supermarkets. I get all that tripe with twisted fruit IPAs and this, that, and the other and whatnot. Bung this out. Boom, put this in the super. That'll do. Put this in the supermarket. This will sell. This is this is great. It's really really good. And it, it, I can just, I can see it sitting on the shelf. I can see you can see that standing out. But we get it in the box. That's great for us getting it in the box. Brilliant. But this is what needs to be put. This is the type of stuff that needs to be in the, in the supermarket. Just to lift again, to lift that reputation that they've got. Put a banger out. Because this is better than Horde. It's better than Heathen? Probably not. Probably not, because Heathen for me is like, it's just, it's just so good. But this is, this will run any double IPA. In, in the supermarket, give it, a, give, it a, give it a good go. So, I'm going to wrap this review up nice and short, nice and sweet. This is Northern Monk's Hold On of Faith. Do -do 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 -do. Um, do I like it? Yes. Will I buy it again? Yes. Do I recommend to friends? Yes. As I say, this should be in the supermarket because it will, it will fly out fly out um if you've had this beer let me know what you think please put a little comment in the comments box below we'll put a link to another website where at the time of recording this video you can buy this um if you like the video don't if you don't subscribe down there and i will see you on the next one stay there stay safe let's count the clicks one two here's the ale